Hello everyone and welcome back to my vanilla server. I hope all has been well with you guys. Um, I do actually have a plan for today. Uh, today's episode is probably going to be a bit shorter. But I do have an upcoming episode plan that's going to be a bit longer. Uh, what we're going to be doing today isn't actually on my board. Or at least I don't think it is. Uh, let's see now. Pathways, a wall. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's actually on this list here. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, not on the list. Anyways, um, I've been over here. You may have noticed that my main gate and also the little side gate to the dragon stables is... Well, it, it's really more of a giant gaping hole than a proper gate. And I've been... Looking around and searching and whatnot, trying to find a really good gate that I like, and not coming up with anything. I think what I'm going to do for this, and this is the point of today's episode, um, is I'm going to do basically what Impulse did on Hermitcraft 3 on his uh, Hermit Hills base, and have a daylight sensor and some pistons and some water, and just use the old. <clears throat> water curtain trick in my test world I actually had a design where the row of blocks here comes up and down but I don't feel like crafting the 600 repeaters I would need for that because the uh, further the water drops the longer the delay you have to have before the uh, blocks pop up otherwise you'll get water everywhere so um I, I think I'm gonna start with prepping the bottom I'll bring you guys back when I've finished uh, when, when I've finished prepping the bottom of it because in order for it to work I'm gonna need some half slabs and currently this is dirt and stone and I think I'm just gonna put uh, cobblestone there instead so I'll be back there in a sec all right um the didn't take very long. I didn't think it would. Uh, so, basically, the reason for the slabs here is because with the water curtain, it'll stop the water right here. And the way water works in Minecraft, it won't go off to the side, which is what I want. Um, I'm also going to be doing the same thing over here. Uh, let me get over there real quick. Um, only the biggest difference is this side's a lot smaller. So, let's see if this will work. Ow. Eh, legs are overrated. Anyways. Ah, this is stone brick. Okay. Well then, I'm going to have to go grab the different slabs. Uh, but the general idea is the same. So there would be like slabs there and there. It's not as big, but I still would like to have it match the other side. So, anyways, I think I shall cut briefly here while I go fetch the proper material for this. Because I thought this was cobblestone too, but I guess I didn't do it that way. Uh, so, I'll be back. And I'm back. I have to move some torches around, but basically, yeah, it's the same thing. There's this annoying step here, but... There's not a whole lot I can do about that. I mean, I could lower it down and then do... Well, you know, that's not a bad idea either. Let's change it to that. Because I think for this particular one, that would probably work better. To have this part be lowered. Ooh. Dark and scary. Uh, eat first. I think that'll work. One lower in a second. Nope. No worky. Hmm. Oh, I tried. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I need that to go down a little further. That sucks. Do, do, do. 
do place is black, place is black, place is black. This is why you carry a bucket of water, so you can test things. Yeah, because it has to be like that for it to work. Oh well. Anyways, um, I have to put it at this height because for this particular location, it just works better. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose if you're going fast enough, you won't notice it. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, uh... I think I'm gonna start over on that one. With the redstone, but... I... Yeah, uh, anyways, uh, pr probably just think a uh, too much here. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit the redstone up over there. And I will bring you guys back in to show you what I've done. And then basically it's going to be a matter of copy-paste over here. It shouldn't be that difficult. So, yeah. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. And I'm done with this. Uh, for here, I opted to follow the curve. Um, yeah. It, it, it should work. In my redstone test world, I didn't follow the curve like this, but and up on top is where I've got the daylight sensor. And I was thinking about how to slab over the redstone, and you can't actually put a redstone slab, or not a redstone slab, a stone brick slab right there. But you can, if I can get to go, put it right there. And so I was thinking for a little bit of added decoration, go ahead and wrap the whole thing with slabs but there's not a whole lot to it it's just a daylight sensor with a repeater to make sure that it signals the full 15 even when it's only detecting one and then on through there and then if I put it in reverse I have no way to get down there should I thought of that yeah let's fill it out with some iron blocks iron's cheap Nothing. Uh oh. Okay, what? Uh oh. Wrong spot. Apparently. Yeah. Nice and neat. A little water curtain. Okay, hold on. Let's see now. Power 15. Uh, power 15. Power zero. There we go. That was weird. So the water's flowing. And the water should stop. I think. I hope. I, would, I got it positioned right, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, it's all cut off. It's just being a little sluggish on the, uh, on, on getting it all the way down. And let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I opted to do just the slabs, because I'd have to have a bazillion repeaters. Get rid of that F3 screen. But, yeah, uh, it, it it clearly works, so I will be doing the same thing over there. I'll be back when I'm completely finished. Yay, we're all done. It works. I just need to patch up the holes over here. But other than that, yeah. Um, never, there I go again. I really need to quit doing that. Anyways. I think this is going to do it for today's episode. It's, I know it's not a major project, but, well, it is something. And it's something that I've been needing to do anyways, because as it stood before, anything could walk through there without any issues. So, 
I think that's going to do it for today. If you did like this episode, please do leave a like. And if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And if you have any tips or if you just want to say hey, say hey in the comments. I'm trying to get back to people on that. Although I know I've not done a very good job of that in the past. But I do appreciate your feedback. So, and with all that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And I will see you in the next one where I have something really big planned. Big but small at the same time. It's pretty exciting. And I'm not going to give any spoilers, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.